Damn. Hurt my feet now. Every beat is getting beat down. Couldn't eat or watch I eat now. Like how you getting paid to freestyle? Different cities every week now. Every woman is a now. What state brought you looking bleak now? I was home to sleep designing sheets now. 30 different missions. When I speak, they listen. Couldn't find the social fishing. Who the cool it wasn't you? I know it's true. Cause you look like the opposition. Run it up, run it up. Greatest ever sums it up. I ain't have a lot when I was coming up. Kinda made my stomach turn when I brung it up. Wait. Laser focus, banging on they, 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 
taking notice. Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. <laughs> They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with Phillip Rivers and the Los Angeles Chargers. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. the 5,000 yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game. That's a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Smith! Forty-seven is the mic. I got you, Pop. Hey, check play. Hey, 79. 79. From just shy of midfield, Rivers. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. Well, this will get him all the way inside of Jacksonville's 10. Rivers to Allen on the hook up there. 47 yards. Ready. Ready. Hey, that's what I do. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10 yard line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know, you know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run they'll wind up getting seven on the completion but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation trying to finish off this opening drive from the three this is third and goal hey alpha show it up red red Well, it's about teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? Yeah. Score a touchdown versus holding him to a field goal. That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. The Chargers, a team that's really been plagued by poor field goal kicking the last decade or so, but I think they feel they've solved their problems with Badgley. I would say so. He went 15 for 16 in 10 games last season. I'm drafted <laughs> for Miami. And remember, he had five field goals in the playoffs against the Baltimore Ravens. This will be taken in at the wall. And he's up across the 28-yard <laughs> line. Foles and the Jags come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now a man who really stepped up last year. This is Matt Breda. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. It took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Once again, they run with Breda on first down and give him about five. 
as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get it going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about go, go, go. leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. Here's Breda, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Here's Foles. He's got the first down and more inside the 40, and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 34. Damn. They go all came together there yeah. in breaking go, 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 go. route. Drove it with excellent go, go. pace. Money yeah. throw right there to move the sticks. Now, yeah. well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The intended target the tight end. Stick by my side. Jenkins. But it's going to be under, second under, down. Under. Here's second and 10 now for the 35. Now the Auburn product, Corey Graham. Joel. And a short gain down to about the 33. Yeah, and then he's not doing much better there. Two yard gain. Falls. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy can hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to run to the foul. Yeah, no, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't this. it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, <laughs> defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. So Rivers will lead the Chargers out first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move right through and open up a crease and make run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. When you find that kind of yard, you can be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Three three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. They've got a third down and five to start things out. <laughs> chain mover they're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10 rivers gonna turn and give this one to his running back Gordon. <laughs> a big chunk on the ground there 27 get ready, get ready. yards get how about our reigning afc player of the week hot putting it into the secondary on that run yeah nice long run that's what got him the award a week ago and he's trying for two and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. And a loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Allen, the intended receiver, third down here. 
think he had his hands on it. Victory, Let's face it, it was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. A yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. 47. Check, check, 47. Pick me up. Here we go. 47 is the mic. Hey, Delta! Let's go. Third and one for Rivers. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. What a 6-3 game. Yeah, I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to do it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They did a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. A loss of a yard one, there to one, start one, out. That one, leads three. to a second and 11. Under crush, under crush. Let's go. On second down, a run with Brita. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. You got it. You got it. He hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. <laughs> Now falls. <laughs> and a big loss here as he's taken down. Joey Bosa in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow, what a season. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Now Benjamin. is going to be a Charger touchdown. Call that a 59-yard punt return. And the Chargers get the quick strike touchdown. And we always talk about kick returns being so exciting on kickoffs. Punt return almost equally exciting. And typically we talk about the kickoff return being the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Let's just cut it in half for a punt return and make it the most exciting five seconds in football. It's a great, glamorous, dashing play. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They will run the ground. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone while they're holding up the ball can get in there and break it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a game of 10. They've got to like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Wait. Coming up at intermission. Charles, you want to wait in against you Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by for a while. to take us through the weekend in the NFL. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 
Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? What imposed their will on the defense was that five straight runs. Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Throwing on second and three. Falls. Austin Safari and Jenkins has it. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Go, go, go! That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the ball in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. They ready to step on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. D.D. Westbrook is intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity <coughs> to make something Watch happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff Watch happen the at the end of halves. They've got good starting field Number position one. as they come up here first and ten. Check, check, check. Check the ball. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon. Check, 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 check. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Hey, hey, hey. Recon, 132 fighter. Hey, go orange. Go orange. You, hey, Charlie. You better. Rivers now from the 50. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. It's caught at the 10. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon in the final seconds of the first half. To the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. And that's a really that excites the team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that... Let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And picked up by the Chargers. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. We have hit halftime. Still two more to go we'll take a timeout we'll be back after this you're watching the nfl and it's on ea sports it's in the game. <laughs> this one fielded at the five now a hit and a loose football so a teammate picking him up there that was nearly disaster and the way that you coach these things you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return no, no, guy no, no. Because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. 
He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We gotta get it back. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Any weapons? Second and five. That's complete to his running back, Graham. They follow up the game <laughs> five by only getting one there on second down. Here we go, here we go. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in the final. I mean, we talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick up on his own defense. Those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers. As much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Check. One, 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 one. Here we go. Check. They're trying to pick this up on the ground. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to their set of downs. They go play action here on first down. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Joey Bosa was sack number 23 on the year, breaking Michael Strahan's mark of 22 and a half. Congratulations. Running out of the gun here, Brito. Corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down with they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Check 26, check 26. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. This receiver is just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Uh, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Check, 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 check. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. They're trying to get the ground game going. Here's Gordon. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. He has elite instincts on in the linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile. He's out from behind the line of scrimmage. Now it's his carry for Melvin Gordon. A sizable gain there, nine yards as they get it back to a third and five. Gordon, a pro bowler for the second time last season, 885 yards, 10 touchdowns, and that was only in 12 games played a season ago. And he also switched jersey numbers in the offseason from 28 to 25, and 25, that's the number he wore when he was dominating the Big Ten college gridiron for the Badgers of Wisconsin. Rivers from the gun on third down. Yannick Ngakwe, what a season he continues to have, his 15th sack of the campaign. And the punt team on now as this one set away. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And yeah, tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big truck now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much.
Are you loading the gun, my nigga? <laughs> or is that your game, dog? <laughs> oh, oh, just make sure, bro. You feel me? <laughs> you make sure you ain't here. No, no place. <laughs> it up almost like it's almost like baseball guys at bat people are on base in scoring position one guy doesn't get them home the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover so signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half here's first and ten now rivers gonna give it off to gordon Past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Rivers now to throw on first down. He's going to rifle on deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. Yeah, this will get him all the way inside of Jacksonville's 10. Rivers to Allen on the hook up there. And even 50 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. <laughs> to throw his rivers. And a heavy rush, and down he goes. Yannick and Gakway. He continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now they run three down with Gordon. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Only a yard there and that'll bring us to third and goal. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get it to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. 
And good job there defensively to stop him for a gain of just four. And that'll bring up fourth and goal. Badgley's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't Damn. go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. No, aren't I there? After the made field goal, Badgley back out there for the kickoff. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. back out there at the line ready for their next drive and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start the next drive or no you just throw that out the window i think you are i don't think that there's any way you can run back out there but, ah, totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all still want to attack we'll see how they attack them here an incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pick. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. This is Gordon as they go to him again. There goes Melvin Gordon. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the interception by the Chargers D leads to a touchdown. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And the lead is now 24. And now defensively they're going to burn their first time out. Remember they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two minute warning. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where you know, the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. And one tell me one seed that we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass. This two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, 
and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. They're second and a yard from the 34. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So a Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. They'll drop the throw. And he's got a first down and then some of midfield. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder what plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now. Because now these plays are really for next week trying to get some momentum going. Now a desperation throw deep. And that ball is caught by DJ Chark for a Jags touchdown. DJ Chark with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jaguars make some inroads here on that deficit. They run it with Brita. And he will not make it to the goal line. The defense holds him here. And this is still a three-score game as the lead remains 18. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10. At their own 26-yard line. The Charger drive Black about to get going. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off. Let's get it. Whether or not we see any defensive timeouts, they still have two, but using them would just be prolonging. That's really already been decided. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 hey, yards and a first down. Not totally got, home free got, yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's Gordon. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Play fake to Gordon. second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. They're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. On the counter, here's Gordon. It's a pickup of eight yards to move them into a third and 13 here. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. As they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The Chargers are in third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is going to be third and 13. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gordon. Oh, what a juke into space. 14 yards is the pick up there and a Charger first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and ten. And he'll give it here. The football a second time. <laughs> call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, Check the biggest cut. thing they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. 
He'll give it to Gordon on the shotgun. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for our visitors, the win pushes their record now to 11 and 2. Check the wrist, man. Got him hot. Hey, man, can't ball like this, man. Lord, pass the pig skin. When he stretch a distance, I'm talking a few hundred thousand yards. You just on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenties, no fives and no singles, don't count on them. Hey, she wanted like me, she's like, she can't count on him. She tried to be nosy and hit on my ex. She like, girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey, we need more. Tell him we need more. Putting numbers on the board like them. 16 cars in my front yard. Hey, 30 on my wrist, will it point to God? Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. Whole team got it, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, blue punts. Whole team got it. It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young. Incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh. I put it on the line like I ain't selfish. Nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in so you feel it. I ain't never faking. I'm the.